Well, hey guys, it is me, LazyB, and we are doing three scary games again. Three scary games number 19. Anywho, oh, we're right in the, in, in the game. Okay, so this is a little horror stories the game with fire. Whatever that is. Start new game. Okay. Well, full of adventure, a campfire, and a little fun in the dark. And our tale tonight, our little horror story. But first, let's welcome our show host. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Have we got a show for you tonight and some lovely tunes to pass the time? But first, let's get a quick word from our sponsor. This is our car. The bank. To all really? our lucky camping package winners, we are pleased to bring you your night out and hope it's full of adventure and wondrous things. So good night, sleep tight, and enjoy the complimentary fire. Oh, and one more thing, don't forget to read the guide. Were those some helpful words for you gals and guys out there enjoying the camping package? Not well, so I much. you all have your fires lit. For our little horror story tonight is... The Campfire. Cool. On a dark moonlit night, one much like tonight, the air what? was damp and heavy with the smell of an old lake after a rainstorm. There was a slight chill in the air, and the wind carried the scent of pine. It was a bit dangerous to be out by themselves in the woods. There was nothing but the silent fire pit next to them, and they could feel the darkness creeping in around them. The camper took a deep breath of the crisp air and threw their last log on the fire. Strike one of their matches and lit the pile. They stared at the empty spot where more firewood should have been. The fear started to set in as they knew. They needed to set out and find more. What will the camper do? Stay tuned and find Excuse out me? when we come back. Until then, enjoy this catchy tune. Give it back. I said give it back. Give it back. What the frick? Okay, thank you. Now I know where's, where the last log is. Here we go. One more log. One more log. Got it. Hello. Little guy, show me where's the, where the other log is. Oh, no, that's not a log. That's not a log either. I think you're leading me to my death. Any jump scares? No? Cool. Oh, I have a flashlight. Okay, yeah. How do I get there though? Another log. Fiery log. Also known as a log of fire. I don't know how to get. Oh, here. Oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. Yes. Now we we'll just go back. Easily, easily, just like that. Oh, no. Excuse me. Well, 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 look like what try again <laughs> Scroll like this We don't want to get caught again Oh 
probably low because you're also silent. Run! Remember, Network continues your night full of chills and uncertainties, full of things that go bump in the night, and shadows coming to life with our little horror story. Now, we're back with our show host. Welcome back, all my lovely listeners. Hope you're all still enjoying your night, which leads me to a word from our sponsor. Marshmallow, a superfood of the future giving you energy. Try one today. The darkness was deep and engulfed any light that strayed too far from its source. The camper cool. traveled through the darkness, only finding traces of previous campers. Where did they go? The anxiety started to creep in as the camper worried about the possibility. Ah. Maybe there was a park ranger nearby. But the camper was too scared to call out to anyone. Too afraid that their words would bring back something with teeth and claws instead of helping hands. So the camper kept searching for the most important thing, another log to keep the fire going. They just hope they can find their way back. As they ventured further into the darkness, they could feel something watching them. Then they heard the deep, low breathing, almost like a growl. Over their shoulder. Oh no, what's that behind you? Just kidding. <laughs> That's kind of scary. Yes, okay. Well, if you're still listening, hope you're enjoying the story and your fires are still lit. For we'll now. Right back. And until then, I'll leave you with this song. Okay, so far so good. I'm kind of afraid to speak because I feel like they'll hear it, but I don't think this is how it works. Am I going the right way? I shouldn't shouldn't have done the 360. How about no? So it has some potential with the creepy vibes. Maybe make it less, like, more goofy. I don't know. But the jump scares are not it. They're not. A murmur of network hesitates to interrupt your listening enjoyment with... Little horror story. Spider. You lovely people tonight. I hope our listeners are doing well. Seems another missing persons case has been posted. Looking back now. Oh, really? Maybe the camping packages were not the best prize after all. Word from our sponsor. There has been a large increase in missing persons cases recently and advise all citizens without proper cause to stay That's not the sponsor. Thank you. They could hear their heartbeat pounding in their ears, running for their life, when they tripped and stumbled into an old campsite. What happened to the other campers, they thought. The camper stood up and surveyed the area around them. Then something gleamed in the grass. Investigating, they found a small key that read, Ranger shed. What was it doing out here? Just as they remembered there should be a ranger I don't know, shed, ranger shed trail, in forest? Long, dark arm I don't out know out what it does there. The shadows. Are they going to survive? Will they make it to a ranger shed? Find out next time when we come back. That's kind of cool. I like it. 
Network presents you with Sound to Sea and wondrous waves being distributed through your radio. Our uh -huh. sponsor tonight is... For all you wonderful campers out there enjoying our amazing camping package, you know what will make your what is this? even better? A roasting stick. Just ask one of your local rangers for details. Don't know where one is? Should be a ranger shed along the park trail. Be careful on the trail. Well, don't miss out on getting your roasting sticks. <laughs> yum, yum. And speaking of roasting, let's listen in on how our camper is doing in our little horror story. The camper barely made it out of that abandoned campsite alive. I barely wasn't in the campsite, but okay. Another log on the way out. They stuffed a marshmallow into their mouth and hightailed it back to camp. Throwing the log on the fire, our camper let out a sigh of relief. They sat there, listening to the radio, wondering if anyone was even aware of what was going on. The camper, unfortunately, didn't have time for such questions, as the fire wouldn't last forever, and they needed to find more wood. Well, folks, there just might be hope for our camper after all. Speaking of which, I hope you all have had a relaxing time out while you're listening to these tunes. Me too. Okay, let's go, little gnomy gnome. At least this is a good gnome. He doesn't gnome me. I haven't been gnomed so far and i would like to keep it this way is this the campsite yes it is that's cool some blood A broken lamp. We have a log. We have a freaking log, man. Oh no. Do I play the noises just for fun? Because I didn't see him. Oh, come on! Are you serious? Try again. The Mermaid Network brings to you once again a tale so chilling and frighteningly vivid you feel like you're there. So welcome to our little horror story. It's a different camp. The campfire's light grew smaller behind our camper as they ran deeper into the forest, looking for more fuel for the fire. They needed to keep the fire lit. It seemed to keep the darkness back, or at least a certain part of it. And like that, almost as if thinking about it drew it in. The camper could hear the deep breath of the shadow man in the darkness drawing near, and they had to keep moving. Okay. Busy, busy. Crouch it, crouch it. Don't you dare not crouch it. Crouch it, crouch it. Crouch it all the way. This is my new song. I call it Campfire Song. Grouch. In parentheses. How about no? encounter of the unknown kind in Little Horror Stories. Now for our show host. 
Welcome back, folks. Never have I met such a positive crowd here tonight. That can also be screaming of fear and stuff. While our camp is still with us, I hope your night has been full of adventure and your fires are still lit. We need a word from our sponsor uh -huh. first. Our special one-of-a-kind design sturdy handles for our hammers make an awesome gift for anybody. Also, they're good for prying boards, but be careful. They can be noisy. There you go. Our Final sponsor. Again, with the campers sprinting even further into the night, searching, hoping for I am not sprinting. People play. But this time, they had a destination. They needed to find a ranger shed. Maybe they could find help. Or at the very least, maybe something useful to last the night. The camper Toad has made no their ears. way back to the main trail. They stopped, looked up and down the trail, searching for any signs of life. Nothing. After a few moments, the camper stopped. I'm here, okay. But just as they thought how peaceful it seemed this time at night, heavy and fast came the loud sounds of flesh hitting stone, and it had headed right in their direction. The camper knew they had to get off the trail before whatever it was and had made its way to them. Were the sounds coming for them? Did it know where they were? Find out next time in Little Horror Stories. What a night. This poor camper can't catch a break. I mean, am I right, folks? Little Horror Stories. Okay, we're good. Anyway, remember to keep your fires lit. Well, for those of you still with us, thank you. And don't forget to ask a park ranger for help if things seem amiss. Cool. Find them. Or to purchase a helpful roast. Go find them. Make your marshmallows even better. And here's a song to make the evening even more better. Cool, nice song. What the frick? Is this a skeleton horse? Dog? Bear creature? Okay, okay. It is creepy. There are some good stuff in this one. It started kind of wonky, but I'm warming up to this one. What? I'm going in. I probably should not open this, but I will. I'll take I'll take the marshmallow. I tried to tell the others, but they wouldn't listen. It was still alive. I don't think it had any eyes. I stayed low and out of view of that toad thing. Jimmy. Now there's a toad thing. That's cool. I like it a lot. Very nice. How about no? Oh, hi there. Are we done? I think we're done.
again. No. Are we going back to the campfire? Uh uh. Uh uh. <laughs> no, no. You don't do this. Not in this house. Seven? From the darkest, forgotten recesses of your mind to bring you little horror stories. It's your show host. Hmm. What a night to be out, folks. I sure am jealous of anyone enjoying their camping trip right now. I mean, it's such a lovely night for a stroll. Instead, I have to be in here reading this. Yeah. This show's in it for the long run tonight, ladies and gentlemen. So I hope you brought that midnight oil to burn. Speaking of which, leads us to our sponsor. Midnight oil to burn? Try our long-lasting puncture-free gasket. Keep all your liquids with you without care. Gasket not included. <laughs> okay. They themselves up off the ground after narrowly missing a run-in with death. They heard the heavy footsteps fade off down the trail. They thought they saw a tall, dark, shadowy figure pass under the lamplight, but they couldn't be certain. I should probably keep moving, they thought to themselves. Uh -huh. The camper made their way to the ranger shed. They unlocked the shed. The bolt lock made a heavy thud as it hit the ground. Low breathing of the creature pursuing them could be heard once again. They knew if they entered while the creature was right behind them, they would be trapped. But if there was someone inside who could help, just maybe. Geez, what a hot founder, folks. What is our poor no camper body. going to do? I mean, what would you do? Find out next time. And until then, make sure to keep your fires lit. <laughs> Thank you. Where are we going this time? Oh, towards the blood. Okay, that's cool. We like blood. Oh no, my fire! The Rambert Network presents another trip deep into the shadowy, bone chilling, and most immersive story you could tell in the pages of Little Horror Stories. As always, here is our show host. Welcome all. But first, as always, we need a word from our sponsor. Buy one of our highly dependable gas-powered generators, guaranteed to provide hours of light for you and your family. Why take power from the city grid when you can be self-sufficient? The city needs yeah. all the power it can get. So be a helpful citizen today and pick up a generator at your local hardware store. Oh uh, yeah. After avoiding the creature yet again, our camper had made sure to check out the ranger shed. They didn't find much except a marshmallow roasting stick. They did, however, manage to find another log for the fire. They were headed back down the main trail when the loud footsteps could be heard again rushing down the path. This time, our camper took a fork in the road that led down a dirt path. They ran down it hoping it was a shortcut back to their campfire. Instead, they came to a makeshift fence. The boards looked like they could be removed if only they had something to That's pry the them off. That's the future again? That's when they noticed a small gleam of light coming from what looked like another ranger shed. I have a, a hammer that can pull off 
towards the shed. Nails. Well, our brave camper find anything useful in the ranger shed? Hopefully not another roasting stick. Though those can be pretty handy for giving us up a sugar rush. Helps me get somewhere fast. Or to stab anyway, somebody. We will get the answers when we come back. It won't then, do anything, I'll but it will be kind of painful. Welcome, welcome. How long is this? Jeez, not even an intro this time? Station must be making cutbacks. Anywho. Do you love things that light up in the night? Us too. So we created glow sticks. They can be purchased in so many colors. Like green. Red. A green. Red. And. Get them all. Everybody is a Green, red, red, red and. So please handle with care. I like the fourth color. Please handle with care. Do not use near heavy traffic, heavy machinery, or dangerous animals. With the hammer they had found in the shed, our camper quickly ran back to the makeshift fence they had seen earlier. Looking around and not seeing anything dangerous, our camper nervously pried the boards off the fence, as they did looking over their shoulder, making sure the shadowy figure wasn't closing in. One board at a time was unbearable, especially when it felt like each time they pulled a board off, it was a dinner bell for anything nearby. They wondered if this sort of shortcut was really worth the risk. Find out next time on Little Horror Stories. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Are you stupid or dumb? Fuck you! You again. We're good. We're doing it, I think. Time was unbearable, especially when it felt like each time they pulled the board They're off, still going? it was a dinner bell for anything nearby. They wondered if this sort of shortcut was really worth the risk. Find out next time on Little Horror Stories. Let's hear it for our sponsor! I wish you could have the convenience of a clean fire in your hand. Well, now you can. Introducing Fire on a Stick, also known as a torch. With our exclusive design, you can have the protection you need with fire. Please do not dispose of on ground yeah. or on other. Contents may be hot and cannot roast marshmallows. Thank you. They sat there staring at the burning coals of the campfire, knowing, dreading, fearing how far they would have to go this time to find new resources. What was the point of keeping the fire going if they don't even make it back? Maybe they should just let the coals burn themselves out and let it be what it may. The camper was getting tired, their feet hurt from all the running, and their fingers full of splinters from the wood, their stomach aching like it had been turned inside out, probably from all the marshmallows. They wondered what probably. God would allow such creatures to exist. And even still, what crueler gods would just observe? What will happen next? That's it? Okay. I'll just crawl and hope for the best. I don't think this one will leave us alone. 
the morning dude uh... yeah that's nice oh come on Are you shitting me? Well, fuck this game, no way. I, I wasted like an hour so far. I don't know what happens to the camper. If you want to figure it out, figure it out by yourself. I'm done. This is very repetitive and very clunky. Sometimes they find you immediately. Sometimes you're a millimeter away from them and nothing happens. I don't get it. It has some potential, but the jump scares are not it. Like when the monster catches you. It's meh. But it is good at keeping a creepy atmosphere. I have to say that. Anywho, let's move to the second game. The second one, it is called Anthology of Fear. Oh dear, studio. 100 games. This game contains flesh and lies that may... okay. Here we go. Anything? <sighs> All right, that's a thing. I have no idea. That's okay. What did, why did I bump myself into this wall? Take a look around the place. Okay. Alright. Uh-huh. So, you mean like just go back? It looks like a Japanese city, but it is not. Hello. Do you have the same problem? Why are you bold? Are you okay? Do you need a doctor? I know you lo you have a doctor jigger scope on your but maybe you need a doctor still thank you mannequins I don't feel so good looking at the phone. I have to. F okay. All right. Hello? Why do I need the crowbar? I really like female mannequins, apparently. Doctor female mannequins. Why do, why do I need a crowbar? 
was lucky enough to find a goddamn crowbar in the middle of fucking nowhere why was it even even here in the first place never mind i gotta open that door what door this door i can't this one cool lovely oh that's a small elevator store power in the elevator okay cool i think there's no fuel i know where the fuel is i know where it is it is with the headless lady that suddenly disappeared but this is fine oh hello there do you need a hand I don't think she needs a hand. Here we go. Why do you use a generator to power up your small lift baby thing? I do not know, but this is how it is. And what if you're inside the house and the generator runs out? What do you do then? Yay. Call for help? Did I die from a car crash and all of this is a fever dream? Are we seriously stuck? No? Here we go. What the hell is this place? I don't know. You went here. Take a look around the place. Oh boy. Squeak. It's closed shut. Well, shit. Well, that's stupid. I heard it. Is that the elevator? Hi. This human remains. Oh, thank you. I love it. Did you want me to look inside of it? I don't want to. But I don't want to. Spooky. Here's the small key. Now I'm in. Do you hear me? Not really. Am I supposed to? WA Wake up. Pick up Nathan, please. Hi. Hello. Oh shit. Nice. I'm going toward the towards the naked one. That looks scary. I think this is the right way to go. Doesn't work, maybe the other one will. Are you sure this one doesn't work? Oh 
Okay. Kinda creepy. Gotta say. Kinda creepy. Run, 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 run. So I think my theory is right. We are in the hospital after a crash. But this part is kind of strange. Hmm. I don't know what to think of it. Mommy? What happened? Oh. Why are you crying? I don't know. Am I mommy? And not daddy? Oh, that's nice. Have to find her. Daughter? Where are thou? It is like we're in a dream in a floating house or something underwater. Cthulhu shit. We need one more. Where can it be? Here we go. Uh, Mabelie. I don't know. Where's my daughter? She could get lost. I was caught. She couldn't get lost. I wasn't. I was watching her all the time. Nobody could hurt her. Nobody could. I would not allow it. She has to be here somewhere. Emily, I knew it. Obviously. Oh no. This is not the way. Okay. That's kind of creepy. What? Oh, that's a big guy. Do you remember, Alice? What is Emily's story? I don't know. Do you remember? Do you remember, Alice? What is Emily's story? Pictures. We need to find pictures. Hey, hey, where are the pictures now? I have to go back. Yeah, I know, but. Okay, okay, I'll go back, I'll go back. Go back, like, back, back, or just a little bit back? What? Hello. What is going on here? I do not. 
clearly. I do not remember nothing. No. Nope. Well, okay. What should I remember again? Oh, here we go. Once upon a time, there was a little girl. Emily was her name. With her brushes, it's very similar to the zombies mode in the Call of Duty. World, the music. Always in her mind. She loved animals, big and small, no matter of what kind. One day, a big storm came and a scary thunder roared. Gladly, her best friend was there so she could be her ward, and so our girl wouldn't be scared. The friend invited her to play. And with that little help, the fear of thunder went away. Then, a loud rumble was heard, everything went blank around. Screaming was loud in the house, and then a crying sound. But this time it wasn't her crying. Okay, creepy poopy poop. Do you remember? Do you remember? No, I do not. One drawing. Okay. I do not remember what happened last September. Do I remember? I do not. I do not. Do you remember? I cannot jump over it. Oh! Do you remember? Because I do not. I f oh, here we go. I remember something. Hi. Uh, bong 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 bong. Whatever that means. Of course you do. What kind of a mother are you? You are useless. Excuse me. Do this right. Do it. No. Of course you do. What kind of a mother are you? You are useless. Do this right. Do it. Then I love. Okay. A big storm came and a scary thunder roared. And so our girl wouldn't be scared the friend invited her to play painting was her world art always in our mind okay this 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 I need it. Congratulations. You remember your child. But tell me, Alice, what are you remembering? Do you remember that day? Don't forget it. You look confused. It was not how you remember it. It was the uh -huh. outside world. Don't forget how it really went. It was your fault. It was Emily's fault. It's not my fault. Excuse me? Alright, that's horrible. How about no? Ah. 
great. Okay. That's a little bit sadder than scary, but it had it it parts. It was creepy. Let's say it like that. I like it. I like it a lot. This was the demo of the anthology of fear. Oh dear indeed. Let's move to the third one. This is the Renovator Origins Russian game. Because of the doll. Demo the, the game was created by blah 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 blah. When door is open, you can simply push it away with your body. Okay, that's cool, I guess. Nivalashka. What the? Where am I? I think I recognize this place. It seems to be the apartment where my father grew up. Uh, sound. I don't know how you. That's the wardrobe, okay. I don't have a lighter, I don't have nothing. Here we go. A Soviet kitchen. Черт, with some bread. I don't know what to do with the lamp, otherwise I won't find anything. We need either a bulb or a lighter. Hello there. Не поддается. Won't budge. Okay. Part of a diary. Okay. My father says that I have vivid imagination, but I okay, okay, okay. No time. No time for this. What? Who closed the light? Who did that? Everything was great. Клетка с каким-то странным механизмом. Интересно для чего. I think to open, you know, it and take the key inside. But what do I? Что? What do I know? Откуда здесь взялась кровь? What, where do, what do you mean blood? Where did you see blood? Am I blind? I don't know about the string, the electrical cable that goes on top of the wall, but the circle look to it and like the screw right in the middle, very Soviet. I have a camera that's kind of similar to this one. Matches. Still don't know where did you see blood, but okay. Am I blind? I don't see any blood. Oh, this blood. Oh, okay. That blood. That's nice. Нужно узнать, что за этой дверью. Use. 
Tuschonka. What is this? Milk? Okay. Okay, the key there opens this. Oh, freak, dude. Well, I guess I won't be opening that one. Very creepy. Just like a grooming device. Another canister. A very clean toilet. And what the frick is that? Uh, of course, that always goes well. Oh, look at me. I'm Martyresan. What did it? Are you so sure about that? I don't think so. Oh, frick. Are you in the fridge? No, you're not. Well, okay. A key in some kind of an old thing. Take it. Okay, clay can be washed if it's not hardened yet. Use. Thank you. Probably in hot water it would go faster, but who cares? Open it. Or that is. We took it. We took it, and now we have it. The sound effect was delayed, but it was kind of creepy. Uh -huh. Okay, we're back. Footsteps. Barefoot footsteps. Grandmothers should have a porcelain collection. Whoops. It works. Oh, here we go. There was a key inside. Use. Just run around. Oh, I left the I left the water running. Well, shit. That's not the right way. This is also not the right way. Aha! That has nothing to do with the uh, painting that was in the chest. Nothing. What? I've been Thanos. 
but low budget tennist. Okay. And I'm back. Okay. And now back to the painting. That's a nice mechanic. I feel like I saw this in a different game, but I don't know. Something near the tree? You mean the thing that's hanging on the tree? We'll check it. We'll check it. We'll see. Okay, besides that, there's a chest here. Which is much more important. Take the crow, of course. Nothing else is interesting here. Only this strange crow thing, which is probably the thing that I need for. Which is probably the thing I need for the cage, the bird cage. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Of course. Of course. Of course. Let's just. Can I go? Back to who is this? There's nobody. Ding 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 ding. Nice. No sandstorm here. Who are you? What do you need? Oh, boy! Thank you for playing the demo. <laughs> Uh, he ran kind of strangely, but he was creepy as hell. Uh, I like this one. I like this one. It has some kind of original-ish mechanics. Well, I wouldn't say original. It has interesting mechanics, let's say it like that. Maybe original also. Who knows? Uh, anywho, this one I do like. Uh, Again, the second one was also great. The first one had a little bit, pro a little bit of a problem with jump scares, and you couldn't take it seriously. I think they specifically made it kind of uh, self-aware, but uh, it had some creepiness to it. I like it. Anywho, which one of those do you like the most? Write in the comments down below. I'll see you guys in the other, in the next three scary games. And bye-bye.